Hey, person had a question about uh, starting a cleaning company in Florida. Uh, they're not specifying if it's a residential or commercial cleaning company, but uh, some of the questions they had were recommended pricing uh, by the square foot or, or by the hour or hourly. And uh, how do you figure out your rates? Well, you know, your first of all, you got to do the research in your area. Uh, it's going to vary uh, from city to city. Um, I've seen it vary from building the building that we're sitting right next door to each other. So you have to do some research in your area. Um, but uh, typically if you're talking about square footage, uh, it could run anywhere from uh, six cents to 15 cents. That's a range that you're gonna find. Uh, when you look at hourly rates, uh, again, you gotta do your research in your area. Um, you, you may find rates anywhere for, uh, well on the commercial side, you might see anything from 17 to $25 per hour. Uh, on the residential side, maybe 20 to, uh, to $40 per hour. Again, it all depends on your market. Um, but uh, that's what you need to do to figure out those rates. You know, the next question is what average pay for employees? Uh, well, you're going to find, uh, again, if you do a little bit of research, uh, just a Google search will tell you that. Um, but uh, generally, you're going to be looking around uh, 10 to $12 per hour uh, on the commercial side could be uh, around the same price range for residential, could be higher. Uh, typically you will see a, a dollar or two higher for residential. But uh, again, you know, just a, a quick Google search will tell you exactly what uh, cleaners are getting paid in your area. Then uh, the other question is, uh, where's been the best place to find quality employees? Well, quality employees are typically already have jobs, so the best thing to do is to market to them where they're found. So, uh, you know, if you want to throw some ads on uh, Craigslist and things like that there, well, you're probably not going to find A players. Um, that's what uh, I've been being told. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of conversations with uh, cleaning company owners that use Craigslist to find employees. And uh, they have a continually uh, a turnover all the time. The quality person uh, that they're finding there just uh, isn't meeting the, the standards that, uh, of, the, of what they're looking for. So uh, again, there's a lot of on, online uh, places that you can go to get your quality uh, employees. But like I say, A players, they've always got a, a job already and that's where you gotta market to, to those types of people. Uh, they're asking, what kind of margins do you have? What kind of clients do you seek? Well, margins are all over the board. Uh, again, you know, uh, the industry averages about 20%. But, uh, you know, I know people that are happy with 10%, 15%. Others want 30%. But uh, that all depends on how efficient you can claim, you know. Uh, and that's really the difference. If you're out there cleaning and I'm your competitor, chances are well, I'm probably a, a lot more efficient than you are. Uh, mostly because I've been doing this a lot longer and I've got systems in place that make my my uh, cleaning efficiencies just very very high so and that's really what it comes down to the more efficient I am cleaning obviously my margins are going to be better and I'm going to control my cost uh, what kind of clients do you seek now uh, that's a great question well everybody should uh, really think about their ideal client you know, the problem with a lot of people is that they'll just take on everybody and everybody. Um, you know, and we typically do that when we first start a cleaning company. You know, we want every job that we can get because we got to have an income come, or we have to have revenue coming in. But, uh, you know, that's all fine and good, but you need to sit down and really think about what type of client you want, your ideal client. So in the commercial arena, maybe you're going to go after people that are in professional office buildings, uh, maybe educational, medical, you know, industrial. Um, you know, in uh, residential, you may say that, okay, well, I want clients that are um, that have an income of $150,000 or more um, and live in uh, specific neighborhoods. So that's what you'll do there. Uh, their other question is, uh, what was the biggest, fa biggest factor in uh, biggest business growth? What was the biggest factor in your business growth? Well, that's marketing, plain and simple. You know, you have to get out and market and you have to network. If you're not doing those things, your business isn't going to grow. So uh, they also ask, uh, where does most of the business uh, come from? 
Well, again, if you know your ideal client and you're marketing to those clients, that's where they're going to be coming from. Uh, in either case, it doesn't matter if it's commercial or residential. Referral, uh, referrals are the best, one of the best methods of getting customers. So, uh, if anything, make sure you put together a referral program. And their last question is, uh, do you have insurance and workman's compensation for employees? And if so, what's the best way to set that up? Yeah, you better have, uh, if you've got employees, you better have workman's comp and insurance. Uh, you want to have insurance, um, uh, liability insurance on your company, and you want to have a bond. Um, you know, and I think that's what they're asking. Um, uh, workman's comp, you definitely want. The, the states are always different. I believe in Florida, I think you have to have three or five employees before you're required to have workman's comp. But, uh, you know, check, check your state laws because it varies. But uh, I would recommend that if you do have employees, get workman's comp on them. Uh, I, don't, I don't care what the law says. If they have uh, an injury at work, guess who they're coming after? They're coming after you, and they're going to sue you. So uh, make sure you get it. Uh, the best place to start with is, is looking at your state. You know, the state might have a fund that uh, provides uh, insurance and workman's comp. You know, if you can't find it there, then go to a, a private agency. But uh, do your due diligence, uh, you know, in, uh, interview these people and make sure that you're doing business with uh, somebody that's a good fit for you. For you. So there you have, there's, uh, there's some answers for you. Uh, you know, uh, everybody will have their own opinion on it, but uh, that's my two cents. Uh, so until next time, keep it clean.